Blocko Blocko here, checking out a game called Aladdin of the Forsaken Lands. Let's go ahead and hit the button. You start out the game, you're flying in a space transport ship. You're a prisoner headed off to prison camp. You're sitting on this bus right here. The guard captain is hassling all the prisoners, trying to find out who's a, who's a clown. And so you give him a comment and he picks you up. He doesn't like what you've said. Your lot don't deserve to show their faces in front of the guards that are kind enough to watch over you. One of the guards doesn't disagree, doesn't agree though and he tells him that he shouldn't talk like that. The guard captain tells him to stand down. Let's see here, he says. Let's make sure my notes about you are accurate. This is the beginning of your character creation. So he gives you some options. Steal an apple cart. Ventured into a secure area. Or you brawled with the guards. Stealing gives you agility. We go with brawling with the guards, I think. You get increased attack and defense for choosing that one. So we went with that one. Start off, your name's Aladdin. We delete all that. All right, what's our name? What is your name? And our name is... Tell us your name, boy. Salamgo. Sling, slingshot? Slimy... Or yeah, slimy something. Oh no, slim... Slim Dobar, maybe? Dango. Slim Dango. Yeah, that's a good one. Slim Dango, that's where it is. Slim Dango. I'm Slim Dango, the guard brawler. When will scum like you learn? It'd be better to die on the street. Were your parents scum as well, or did they abandon you when they saw what a wreck you'd become? Captain, there's no reason to... Stand down, guardsman. Your concern is unwarranted. This trash isn't worth wasting your breath over protecting. This is your other soon-to-be ally, this green-haired woman. Oh, another re rebellious prisoner. What do you intend to do if I don't? Will you defy me? They call her an untouchable. I'm sure we'll find out more about that later. You were a prisoner after all, and yeah, same as him. Understood. Ah, all you lot. When we reach the prison camp, you all learn that staying on my good side is important for your health. Let those two serve as examples for you. Suddenly, there's a shaking, and a guard rushes in. Captain, we've got trouble. There's a rock reckler grabbing hold of the ship. We can't move. 
A reckler, those beasts do tend to patrol these parts. I will lead a troop outside. We can dislodge ourselves with enough power. Hmm, I'd rather not waste the manpower. You, prisoner, it's your time to begin repenting. Go outside and fight the reckler. So you're tasked with fighting the reckler off the ship. The guard says he will join you. And I'd like to say the green-haired lady joins you as well. We'll find out in a moment. Prisoner, follow me. You'll show these fools what a difference fighting with courage can make. This is a Reckler. I guess they're pretty powerful. You'll fight this guy again later in the game. Dark attire. Not too tough though, we get rid of him and he falls off the ship eventually. Inaya, the green haired lady, joins you. Turns out she's a healer, so you're glad to have her around. You can also do all right damage for a healer. Not on this guy though. She does have an attack spell, I think. Its grip is loosening. Just a bit more and we should be able to. Aw oh, crap. And we shoot off the Reckler, but suddenly, a rot worm as big as the sky appears and swallows the ship. So then you're really in a pickle. Here you are inside the rot worm. Rivers of digestive juices flowing along, ready to devour you. I'm glad to see you can still stand, but can you walk? Yes, thank you. Well, we can't carry around an unconscious person all day. So, it looks like she uh, healed you up. You were unconscious inside the rot worm. Guess we're inside the worm now. Settle down. Sandworms might be indiscriminate eaters, but they don't chew. And they don't dissolve most of the things they eat. Plenty of animals can climb out of them at night, so we might be safe as long as we wait until dusk. Still, Watcher Trisha will be furious if we don't arrive by the expected time. Captain, I suggest we send several squads to scout the area. That way we can ensure we'll be safe until the nightfall. Not a bad idea, however, you will search with the directive of immediately freeing us from the sandworm. One exit strategy by the time everyone gets back. Got it? Yes, sir. I shall lead the two prisoners as their own squad. Is that alright, Captain? You're talk you're taking the vagabond and that untouchable with you? Even after she stole one of the guards' lamps? I think you'd be more cautious, given you've already lost your helmet. So, the captain decides to split everyone up in groups. The guard who joined you earlier decides he wants to come with you guys. So the three of you become a team. A healer, a warrior, and another warrior. And so you begin your look through the bowels of the rot worm. There's no one to save you. A prison guard telling me not to run off? What a surprise. Try to be mindful of your watchful eye, Lackey. Lackey, I'll have you know I... You show them who's boss and 
get them back in line to follow you. you. Find five small berries and a serpent's ring inside the chest. This is your first room. Combat seems to happen randomly or you run into a spot. Basically traditional RPG rules where you can be attacked anywhere as long as you're not in a safe zone. I like the monster designs on this game. Star Spider. Guess they must crawl around. Starfish and a spider combined into one. As for the battle music, it's uh, not terrible, not bad, just just okay. It's got good sound effects though for your attacks and uh, the ending music for each battle. And I uh, tells you about the antidotes in the game to heal you from poison. Standard RPG rules apply for the poison. If you're poisoned and you take a few steps, you're gonna get some health taken away. Checking out our equipment. We've got a rebel ring and also a serpent's ring. So we switch to the serpent's ring. Then we give the rebel ring to the guard. Pick up some more antidotes. Some more poison already. Always best to take out the monsters that can poison you first if you can. In this case, all three of them can poison me, so... Not sure it makes much difference which one you kill. Healing up. Open this chest here and we get average tunic. Some increased armor. With less defense. But it's better for Anaya. Ah, I meant to hit the starfish instead. Oh well.
Here you find a lady asleep on the ground or passed out. Poor girl, she must have fallen. The woman's breath is steady and slow, but not overly bleed bleed or pained. Oh. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I should think you'd have more questions than that. I'm Slim Dango. Who are you? Nice to meet you, Slim Dango. I'm, uh... I'm, uh... Who am I? Alright, I'm Sina. Sina Rafik. Glad to have your acquaintance. Are odd manners a side effect of being digested by sandworms? What's wrong with being polite? It's what I learned in, uh... I learned them somewhere. I can't seem to remember. It's all just a red void. Like needles stabbing my head and producing blood everywhere they touch. But the blood pours into nothingness as there are no memories for it to seep into. It's all just dark and hollow. He pat her shoulder gently. The guard helps her to some food. She decides to join the party. Another member. I want to help. Besides, I'd be safer traveling with all of you than staying here anyway. So let's head out. Another companion. Got a new weapon for Inaya. Instead of the tattered shaft, it's the tattered boomerang. Boomerang is less damage, but it's nice so that you can attack all the enemies at once. Which is good for leveling up. Let's get out of here. Looks like I missed a spot, I think. Or now I'm going back. You won that one. Get some levels. Level three. And some new spells. I think we missed a spot in that area. We go here though and we heal up. And we go explore some more. This time in a different direction. Put on the magician's hat that we just found. And fight some more starfish. What an odd place. How did this come to be inside a sandworm? Sandworms are larger than many ruins. It wouldn't be too strange to find some rem remnants of older eras. Though I will admit, it's a surreal thing to see, that's for certain. come upon this puzzle basically you just turn the statues based on what the signs describe the new lady Senna can actually read the language so she helps you understand what the signs are saying 
the puzzles are usually pretty easy. A few guesses here and there, and you can get it. They're not so challenging as to be frustrating, and they're not so easy as to be pointless. Good middle ground. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to check out more games, subscribe and check back. I play RPGs, indie games, and oddball games. See you in the next one. With all of them correct, this one is left. We need to fix this one and it should open. There we go. Got it. New area and a spot to heal up. Got a rusty crossbow. Ah. Two baby dragons, a weird claw looking guy and a starfish. They turn out to be pretty easy. You get an embroidered hood. That'll be good for someone. We give it to Senna. We didn't find anyone for the crossbow yet. Ah. Run into some more starfish. Made short work of them though. And we got some antidote, that's good. We were starting to become overpowered. Head over to the healing station and we save. In this game, as in all RPGs, you should save often. Ah. Starfish down. We wrestle with the rest of the monsters. Another one by the dust. Oh crap, Altair is almost dead. We were almost dead for Altair.
we heal up Altair and put in the final blow. Luckily, we're close to the healing station. But we had picked up some poison. Probably a waste of antidote, but that's alright. And this is a waste of healing potions. I don't know why we didn't just go over the healing station. I think we do anyway, so. Oh well. Save the game and we head north. Another puzzle. This one is a knowledge check, so you have to answer questions. They're pretty obvious. Basically just elemental questions. What will work good against another thing and what won't work against another thing. Weaknesses and strengths. Fire versus water. Wind versus poison and whatnot. Strength versus strength. When you get the answer wrong, monsters attack you. This has been Aladdin of the Forsaken Lands, an above average RPG with hints of Dune and other sci-fi films. Check it out below via the link in the description. We won that one to give another answer. This time we choose light, which is incorrect. Next time we'll choose fire. Give us some healing. Fire is the correct answer. This time they want to know about fire. Some of the elements in the game are similar, well they sound similar anyway, but they're different, like light and fire kind of have a similar connotation, but light is more like, uh, like holy rather than light like from the sun. So light and dark are opposites. So when they say darkness, it's more like dark from a graveyard, or a necromancer, or the moon. So I guess maybe not like the moon. More like a shadow, I'm not sure. Light and dark go together. Physical has no resistances or strengths, it's just neutral. And that brings us to the next area. Opening the chest, we find a wooden staff and three injury kits.
Eh, we'll leave the boomerang. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to check out more games, subscribe and check back. I play RPGs, indie games, and oddball games. See you in the next one. There are kind of like uh, campgrounds in the in the game. Here you can. Uh, Talk to your fellow party members. It's kind of like where you heal up, but it's slightly different. We decided to rest here. Because why not? I guess they call them rest areas. Like at a truck stop or on the highway. Thanks for speaking with me, Slim Dango. It's been a long time since I've had the opportunity to speak. Simply speak with someone on normal terms. Slim Dango tries to put the moves on Inaya. Next time we'll put the moves on the silver hair. It comforts me to hear you say that. I imagine we come from very different places, but anyone ruled by others' expectations of them can at least find refuge in one another. I'm happy for that. Would you like to save? Yes. We're gonna do file one. Out pops a Reckler as you're peering into the void of the Rotworm. Hmm, it's strange to think we're truly inside a sandworm, though I also can't recall what exactly a sandworm is like anyways. That's true, though I fear what will await me once I leave, I know nothing of the outside. If we do escape, our situation won't exactly improve. Either we return to the sand ship to be prisoners, or we wander the desert until we finally collapse. Inaya was being quite depressing and Sina was confused the guard says he would try and give us special treatment in the prison camp or at at best he can help us get released he seems to be the only good guard in the game Though I guess we haven't really met the other guards. Suddenly a Reckler appears. And you must defeat this Reckler in order to escape the dungeon. Basically it's like last time where you just gotta knock him off. I don't think he actually dies. We defeat his two little friends on the sides. Let's try and kill it. So it's just the Reckler left. Takes a little bit of time, but we do defeat him. A little bit different battle music this time, which is nice to hear. The guard reminds us that we could fall into the pit, so be careful. Once someone falls into the pit, they're likely gone forever.
we continue to fight the sand or er, the reckler and push him into the void. Took some heavy damage that turn. We heal up and continue to attack. Another heavy damage round. We decide to use some healing berries and a healing spell. Cena got poisoned by the Reckler. So we had to use some berries on her. And Altair took some more heavy damage. Nearly there, we continued to fight the Reckler. Unfortunately, Inya lost her consciousness. So she was out for the battle. We defeated the Reckler, got nearly 3,000 XP, a level from Sena, and this upset the Rotworm stomach. We decided to leave before the Rotworm throws up. The plan is to get the Rotworm to throw up, and we can jump in the ship and get thrown up into the sand. Let's see how it goes. During this time, there's a timer up top, so you gotta get back before it turns dark. We decided to stop the healing station and get healed up. I guess we could save here, but we decided not to and head out. Meeting up with the other guards, we tell them we gotta hit the road before the sandworm throws up. Why are all of you in such a hurry? Who's that blue-haired woman? That can come later, Captain. First, we need to get everyone back on board. We have our way out of here, but it's gonna be a bit bumpy. Off we go. Suddenly, a great propulsion shoots us out of the ship. <laughs> Plan has worked. We're back in the sand. Everyone, I recognize it took a great deal of work to get here, nearly perfectly on schedule to boot, so I want to thank every guardsman that helped us escape. That goes double for you, Altair. Using those prisoners as weapons and shields helped you see through a successful mission. I was skeptical, but I recognize your rationale now. Thank you, Captain. I'm confused. Altair was using us? We're prisoners, Tana. You need to be on your toes around people like that if you're gonna survive here.
The guard captain gives a long spiel about how you're still prisoners and scum. Eventually, they let you into the prison, though, and you get to meet the warden, who's a woman. The Lady Warden. She's a tough nut to crack. I suppose it's unreasonable to hope for a miracle right now. That was a perfect time for one. Yes, I suppose hoping really is what we should do now. I'll try to hold on to some semblance of optimism. Let me know when you're ready to head to the prisoner initiation. It might seem strange, but I feel safer around both of you than I would alone. So I'd like us to stick together when we arrive. Of course, with any luck, they'll find out who I am and send me back home. I'll invite both of you with me, of course. You have a strange sense of humor, Senna. Humor? That's a good place to stop there. This is a cool game. Check it out. And see you in the next one.